Most of us think pain means something is damaged. A cut, a sprain, a broken bone. But what if you're in pain and doctors can't find anything wrong? No injury, no inflammation, no clear cause. That's the reality for millions of people living with fibromyalgia. For years, this kind of pain was misunderstood and even dismissed. But today, new research is shedding light on what's really going on. Scientists now recognize a third type of pain, nosoplastic pain, and it's finally helping us understand what's really happening in fibromyalgia. In 2017, the IASP, International Association for the Study of Pain, introduced the term nosoplastic pain as a third new category of pain in addition to nociceptive, pain caused by inflammation or damage to the body or tissues, and neuropathic, pain from damaged nerves. This type of pain often arises in some chronic conditions, with fibromyalgia being the typical condition. Nosoplastic pain is defined by the IASP as pain that arises from altered nociception or pain processing, despite no clear evidence of actual or threatened tissue damage. To put that more simply, the body feels the pain, the pain is real, but it's caused by the nervous system becoming extra sensitive or misreading normal signals as pain. It's important to note that nosoplastic pain is not a diagnosis, but a descriptor of the type of pain experienced. Nosoplastic pain and fibromyalgia explained. Normally we experience pain when there is an injury, like a broken bone. This represents the body's pain processing mechanisms working correctly to protect us from harm. Fibromyalgia is an example of a disorder where sensory information, both normal and threatening, gets amplified by the brain. It's as if the volume control on your nervous system is turned all the way up. In fibromyalgia, the issue is not an injury, but rather how the brain and spinal cord process normal sensory signals, such as touch or pressure, and interpret them as painful. This helps to explain how fibromyalgia can affect virtually any body part or system. Over time, the nervous system can become sensitized, meaning it overreacts to normal sensory input. This central sensitization is believed to be a key factor in fibromyalgia, where pain signals are amplified and persist even without injury. It's as if the nervous system goes into overdrive. The key thing to understand is that the pain of fibromyalgia is real and not all in a person's imagination. The brain is mistaking safe signals from the body as dangerous and it's generating a pain response. Nosoplastic pain and fibromyalgia have been the subject of extensive research over the past few years with functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, playing a critical role in demonstrating a neurological basis for these conditions. fMRI studies have revealed significant differences in brain activity and structure between fibromyalgia patients and healthy people. Fibromyalgia patients show enhanced pain responses and experience pain more intensely than in healthy individuals, even when exposed to the same level of stimulation. Their brains also show less activity in areas that normally help to reduce pain, suggesting their pain control system isn't working properly. Interestingly, even non-painful sensations produce different brain responses in fibromyalgia patients, indicating that their sensory processing is altered in general, and not just for pain. Structural changes of the brain have also been observed in fibromyalgia patients in regions involved in pain processing and regulation. These changes are often linked to the severity of symptoms and how long the pain has been going on. These fMRI findings have important implications as they provide clear and measurable evidence that show that fibromyalgia involves altered central nervous system processing. This supports the reality of the pain experienced by these patients and its neurobiological basis. It's important to note that nosoplastic pain, such as that seen in fibromyalgia, can be just as intense and distressing as nociceptive or neuropathic pain. All of them are real forms of pain and can result in comparable levels of suffering. Other conditions that fall under the umbrella of nosoplastic pain include complex regional pain syndrome, CRPS, chronic low back pain, chronic migraine, and irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. Recent advances in our understanding of fibromyalgia and nosoplastic pain have also drawn attention to the role of neuroinflammation, an immune response within the brain, and how it contributes to the pain and symptoms of the condition. Neuroinflammation involves the activation of immune cells in the brain and spinal cord, 
When activated, these tiny cells change shape and release inflammatory chemicals that affect how neurons work, making the nervous system even more sensitive to pain. If you would like to learn more about fibromyalgia and neuroinflammation, watch our other video, Brain on Fire, Fibromyalgia and Neuroinflammation Explained, linked in the top right corner of your screen. This growing area of research further reinforces the biological basis of fibromyalgia and may lead to new, more effective treatment options in the future. If you receive value from this video, please like and share, and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos.